It sounds like there's just some networking issues going on. So I'll just explain a couple of fundamentals about this type of networking scenario. And, and as I mentioned, Avahi Damon, which is spelled A-V-A-H-I dash D-A-E-M-O-N. Um, if you install that using apt or whatever package manager that you're using, if you install that, then it allows that computer to respond by its host name within your network. If your computer does not have that, and it's a Linux host, then you may have trouble resolving without knowing the IP address. So on my Linux system, for example, and I'm just going to bring up a terminal window here. Let's get a look. So I'm going to type, so I'm already root, so you need to be root on Ubuntu. You're going to type sudo su to become root. Okay? So apt install avahi daemon now my linspire says avahi daemon is already the newest version so this is something that i would do not on my client maybe on my client because i want all the computers to to be able to communicate but on the computer that i'm trying to connect to this is going to allow me to communicate with it by host name um, the other one that you may uh, want to be familiar with is called lib um, Pardon me, libnss-mdns. Let's see if we have that. apt install libnss-mdns. And again, <clears throat> and this shows, this really is showing us how Linspire kind of has everything already built in out of the box, which is kind of cool. I'm not having to install these things, but you may have to on other distros. Um, what libnss-mdns does differently is this allows our computer to uh, to see other dot local computers within our land so if you don't have that installed on your computer the guest the one that you're trying to access the avahi daemon computers um, from so my desktop computer for example or chakotay um, you may need to install that as well on that computer so then you've got the ability to communicate by host name and if you're not getting a response to zen server one try zen server one dot local and that tells it that it, you're looking within a local um, you're looking for a local ns record not something out on the web and that may help as well if all else fails, Chris, I want to point you in the direction of what's called a hosts file. Um, Sasha, any idea what a host file might do? It would... This is going to be a shot in the dark, I can tell by that. A host file would be the, um, the one... <laughs> it's a bald nerd. <laughs> the one file that has all of the things in it. Baldnerd.txt is a host file. Right, right. That's... <laughs> A good example of a host file. A host file. Well, a host file is, uh, it tells your computer yes. what IP address to resolve based on an NS name. So, Zen Server 1 is 192.168.1.2. Right. So, if I know that and I'm not able to resolve that based on my internal DNS, right. I can actually forcibly set that setting using a host file. And what's nice about that is it's something you can do in both Linux and Windows. Huh? So regardless of what operating system you're using, you can do this. Now, on my Linux computer, if I go into the slash etc and then nano hosts, you'll see that there's this file here. So what I could do, Chris, is I could say Zen server, like that, Zen server 1, and just before that, 192.168.1.3. And that's all that there is to it. So now I can output that file with control O. And then if I try to ping that, send server one, notice that my computer here is trying to ping 192.168.1.3, mm -hmm. but it's going to bounce. It's right. obviously going to tell us here in Studio D that there is no Zen server. There is no 192.168.1.3. Right. But did you see how quickly I was able to basically use a hacky workaround to tell my computer, hey, 192.168.1.3 or uh, .2 in your case, I've got the wrong IP, my mistake, is Zen Server 1. So now I can right. resolve it without having to change anything, just editing my host file. I mentioned that this can be done on Windows as well. Um, so let's get a look at my Windows system here. 
And on Windows, I can head into my C drive. And in Windows, uh, I think it's under uh, System32, ETC, no, Drivers. Yes, ETC, and there's the host file. So C, or your hard drive, Windows, System32, Drivers, ETC. Open the host file. You're going to have to tell it that you need to open it with Notepad or Atom or whatever text editor that's going to be compatible. And notice mm -hmm. the similarity here. 192.168.1.2 mm -hmm. is the correct address. And you can have a tab or a couple spaces there, whatever. Zen Server 1. Save that file. And now my Windows system can also find that via the host name. <laughs>